11 Labs just got interestinger. Not only can you do text-to-speech, where you type out what you want said, pick your voice, and 11 Labs produces that voiceover in whatever voice you like, now you can also do something a little different, which I had a hard time getting my head around, called speech-to-speech. -speech. What the heck can you do with speech-to-speech? -speech? The idea here is that you can take whatever content it is that you want spoken, you say it, you read it into 11 Labs, and then pick the voice you want it in, it creates what you said and how you said it in the voice you chose. Let me give you an example. I'm inside of 11 Labs here, started with text-to-speech, but we now have this speech-to-speech -speech option. So we're going to click on that, and I'm going to leave this at Howard, the American Radio Voice. And what we're going to do is we're going to record audio. Now we can also upload a file. If we've recorded something already, you can drop it in here. But we're just going to record, and I've got a little, little blurb over here. Did you know that honey never spoils? Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still perfectly good to eat. All right, so you notice I put a lot of different inflection and crazy style in there. Okay, now let's generate. Did you know that honey never spoils? Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still perfectly good to eat. All right, we're going to use Emily. I'm not going to fool with anything else here. I'm just going to record, and I think we're going to record that. Oh, I could generate that now based off of what I already recorded, but I'm not going to do that. I want to record, we'll do the next section of this little fact quiz thingy. Honey's longevity is due to its unique chemical composition, which makes it inhospitable to bacteria and microorganisms. A little 11 seconds. I could play that to hear what I sounded like, but I just recorded it so I know what I sound like. So now we generate. Honey's longevity is due to its unique chemical composition, which makes it inhospitable to bacteria and microorganisms. Wow. All right, so we're going to use Daniel. He is a Brit. He's British. And he has this nice, deep, deep voice. I'm glad you've joined me today and hope you are finding this useful. Bob is fantastic. And Accelerator.tech is the best place to be. Why not? Generate and see what Daniel does with that. Fob is fantastic, and Accelerator Got Tech is the best place to be. So, what I wanted to point out there was you can't just say something and then pick a character that has a different accent than you do. So, I'm American, I speak American, uh, English, but it's American. So, I can't just pick a, a British voice actor and it keep the British accent. It's going to take whatever accent that you give it because it's just recreating exactly what you said and how you said it only in the voice of someone else. But again, accent you've got is the accent you're stuck with. What could you use this for? Well, I've been using 11 Labs for various different projects. I've not used this in a project yet, but I've used 11 Labs for various different projects. I've found it to come in handy when I'm doing some kind of a short video, a reel, or something like that, that I, I need to do a voiceover, but either my voice is tired, uh, there's too much racket around my environment, and I can't record something clean, and so I can just come in here and pick a voice and plop in my script, and bada bing, bada boom, one take, it's done. I also use it sometimes when I could absolutely record whatever it is I'm trying to do, but whatever the project is, sometimes I feel like it would benefit from a different kind of voice. Sometimes, instead of my voice, I think the delivery comes across much better. For certain things, maybe it's a, a British, uh, an, an older British voice, like Daniel here, who obviously I've used before. Or maybe the project that I'm doing, I need somebody that's younger and more exuberant than me to be able to um, convey the message that whatever story I'm trying to tell. So that's another great use case for this. One of the problems, though, and 11 Labs is great. I think their text-to-speech is really top-notch, but it's not perfect. So sometimes you'll, you'll come in, you'll even make some tweaks and, and export it or generate it a couple of times, and it's still just, they're missing a, they're not hitting a word the way you wanted them to, or you're like, ah, oh, I wish they would, you know, sound that out a little more and slow this down. So what you can do with speech-to-speech, -speech, again, it's not going to give you the British accent if you're speaking to it in American. 
But for everything else, for the tone, if you want that more raspy uh, voice, and maybe yours is softer, or you want a softer voice, and maybe you've got a rasper, raspier, raspier, is that a word? Sure, raspier voice. You can say it exactly how you want it said, and then pick the voice you want it said in. Pretty cool. It's one of those things I never really imagined or thought of or had a reason for, but seeing it, I'm going to keep it in the back of my head. I bet there's some use for it. If you haven't played with Eleven Labs yet, I strongly suggest you do. It's free to use and play with. Now, if you want to be able to uh, use it for commercial things, anything other really than just personal use, uh, you do need to upgrade to one of their other plans. But look, the starter plan is five bucks a month. Uh, it's a dollar for the first month, so that's a that's a bargain there. And you get up to 30,000 characters a month. You can create 10 custom voices, and you can do the uh, instant voice cloning, which you can't do in the uh, in the free. And attribution is required from the free, uh, which is not when when you're up on the starter or higher. For me, the starter is fine. This 30,000 characters a month is plenty for what I need, and five bucks a month you're kind of in my price range there because I'm cheap. So go check it out. I will leave the link in the description. Uh, yes, I am an affiliate, so I might make a couple bucks if you end up making a purchase, but try out the free plan. Play with it. See what you think uh, before you go buying it. If you want to learn something else to make your life easier being a solopreneur, freelancer, entrepreneur, what have you, just watch this next video.